Hello again guys and welcome back. Uh, I have a confession to make. I'm going to switch out the original Vincent clutch for a new clutch. I know, but I've tried and tried um, and it's great on the open road uh, when I'm not in traffic. It's just terrific. There's no problem at all. Um, but around town, it's pretty miserable actually. It slips and grabs, seems like at the same time, and I've worked very hard to try and adjust it here and at the clutch as well um, without much success. Anyway, bottom line is it, it's spoiling the riding experience and so I've decided to go ahead and I've ordered a V3 clutch from Neil Vidine uh, working with Rodney Brown in Australia both thank you very much it's been a great experience and so this video is about uh, replacing the original clutch with the v3 clutch and i uh, hope you'll enjoy it and i hope you'll forgive me thanks a lot guys so here's the original vincent servo clutch still fitted on the bike i never did put the cover back on because i was still uh, busy experimenting and adjusting the clutch while it was here on the bike so never went back on and here's the clutch the v3 clutch it's a really, really nice piece of kit. Comes with all the parts that you need, obviously. And you can download these instructions. I think actually they came in an email. Um, pretty comprehensive instructions that go with uh, fitting this clutch to the bike. And just a very, very nice piece of machinery. And we'll see more of it as I install it on the bike. I won't tell you the brand of these plates, but let's just say they're not from Stevenage. And then the bonded plates are inside here as well. And the first step, of course, is to remove the old clutch. just do it by hand. The sealant held up very well. It's just a little dusty, I think, maybe from the brake shoes. 
And now it's just a matter of removing these in order to take this drum out. While I have both clutches on the bench, I thought I would just compare them weight-wise. See how much one weighs over the other. This is the old clutch, the original clutch. And that weighs in at eight pounds, 10 ounces. And then this is the new V3 clutch. Six pounds, five. Now viewer discretion is advised at this time and the reason why is um, I bought the wet clutch from V3. Uh, he has two options, one is a dry clutch, one is a wet clutch. I'm going to go with a wet clutch um, which means that we can remove this seal here or, or leave it but more importantly um, we need to drill two holes here on the inside of the inner primary cover. And the reason for that is it, this is the oil level here within the primary cover, the primary case, and that lets the oil flow into this clutch housing. Um, so next step will be to remove this primary cover. I'm going to get a little bit of assistance in drilling those two holes just so I double and triple check before we start drilling. I mean, uh, rubbers in here like that. Here I'm just checking that these new screws fit in to the sprocket without binding and they're all perfect. Last thing I want to do is get everything fitted and then only to find that we have a problem.
beautiful. Well, as you can see, I've got the gearbox out of cover off. I had a problem actually getting the other half of the push rod out of the bike. And it was really sticky and I couldn't pull it out from the other side. So unfortunately, I've had to take the gearbox cover off, which required taking the exhaust off and all the foot pegs and pedals, um, which wasn't really a big problem. But uh, what I've found is this uh, half of the push rod is pretty badly corroded there's also a step in it that i'll show you as well and so i think possibly that was contributing to the poor performance of the clutch as well so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use the other half of the push rod on this side and then i'll use the new push rod on the other side when i make up the push rod length Here's the push rod assembly on the bench and this half here that was on the primary side that just slid out without any problems and it's nice and clean. Um, and then I've got a quarter inch roller bearing in the middle as well. Um, but this side, this was really quite a problem actually. I couldn't get it out on the primary side. Um, I stuck some uh, black tape on the end, a little blob and tried to sort of essentially suck it out and pull it out. I tried to magnetize this with some strong magnets on the end, actually of a longer push rod and pull the whole thing out that didn't work it felt ever so sticky and uh, so what I had to do was unfortunately take the gearbox cover out um, I've reached in from the other side and I pulled it out it took a bit of an effort um, it didn't just slide out and what I've found here is that there's quite a lot of corrosion here on the push rod to the extent that you can feel that there's like a step in the hard surface of this push rod. And I'm just wondering if that would have contributed to the poor performance of the old clutch, especially as it was moving from side to side and just wearing down with the dirt and debris inside that tube. So I've thoroughly cleaned out the tube, um, gone through with uh, pipe cleaners and it's thoroughly clean now and so we should be ready to reinstall.